Good morning. Welcome to St. James Morning Prayer. It's lovely to have you with us. I am Doug Beard and I am a member of the St. James Licensed Lay Readers Assistant Team here at St. James. I'm sure that most of you will be well aware that today is Mothering Sunday. So let us begin by thanking God for our mothers. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for our mothers who nurtured and cared for us as we grew up. We thank you for the influence they have had on our lives. Amen. Now for morning prayer taken from the Church of England app. Let us have a moment's silence. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy, to you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with our, your bountiful spirit, and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, say may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. We now come to the Word of God. We're going to read together the first, 90, the first 10 verses of Psalm 19. The heavens are telling the glory of God and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. One day pours out its song to another and one night unfolds knowledge to another. They have neither speech nor language and their voices are not heard. Yet their sound has gone out into all lands and their words to the ends of the earth. In them he set a tabernacle for the sun that comes forth as a bridegroom out of his chamber and rejoices as a champion to run its course. It goes forth from the end of the heavens and runs to the very end again, and there is nothing hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure and gives wisdom to the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right and rejoice the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure and gives light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean and endures forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More, of the, more to be desired are they than gold, more than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey, dripping from the honeycomb. This is the word of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Now to read a portion of Isaiah chapter 43, verses 1 to 7. 
But now, thus says the Lord, he who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Saviour. I give Egypt as your ransom, Ethiopia and Seba in exchange for you. Because you are precious in my sight and honoured and I love you, I give people in return for you, nations in exchange for your life. Do not fear, for I am with you. I will bring you offspring from the east and from the west I will gather you. I will say to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not withhold. Bring my sons from far away and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Full of compassion and mercy is God the Most High, the Almighty. Lord Almighty and God of our ancestors, you who made heaven and earth in all their glory, all things tremble with awe at your presence, before your great and mighty power. Immeasurable and unsearchable is your promised mercy, for you are God most high. You are full of compassion, long-suffering and very merciful, and you relent at human suffering. O God, according to your great goodness, you have promised forgiveness for repentance to those who have sinned against you. The sins I have committed against you are more in number than the sands of the sea. I'm not worthy to look up to the height of heaven because of the multitude of my iniquities. And now I bend the knee of my heart before you, imploring your kindness upon me. I have sinned, O God. I have sinned and acknowledge my transgressions. Unworthy as I am, you will save me according to your great mercy. For all the host of heaven sings your praise, and your glory is for ever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Full of compassion and mercy and love is God, the Most High, the Almighty. We now come to our uh, reading from the New Testament, from Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 to 14. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is a gift of God not the result of works, so that one may boast. For we are what he has made us, creators in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand to be our way of life. So then, remember that at one time you gentles by birth called the uncircumcision by those who are called the circumcision, a physical circumcision made in the flesh by human hands. Remember that you were at that time without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers to the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who were once were far off 
have been brought near by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace. In his flesh he has made both groups into one and has broken down the dividing wall, that is, the hostility between us. What wonderful words. What wonderful words. This is the word of the Lord. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. You are the God of my salvation. To you, Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I hope all the day long. O oh my God, in you I trust. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. To you, O oh Lord, I lift up my soul. O oh my God, in you I trust. We now come to the Benedictus, the song of Zechariah. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, whom has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies from the hands of all that hate us. To show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. A new child shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Now let's have a short time of prayer. Father, we thank you for being such a gracious God. We thank you that you gave us life through the death, resurrection and ascension of the risen Lord Jesus. We thank you for your presence with us as we live our lives today. And that is simply by your grace because you rose from the dead and you are living. And you are living in us the hope of glory. Lord, it is beyond understanding, it is beyond comprehension, but we know that you have saved us by your grace. And we thank you that we can experience your presence with us because you 
are living today. Amen. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The collect for today. Merciful Lord, absolve your people from their offences, that through your bountiful goodness we may all be delivered from the chains of those sins which by our frailty we have committed. Grant this, Heavenly Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our blessed Lord and Saviour, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We now say the Lord's Prayer with the preface, trusting in the compassion of God as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We now come to the conclusion of our morning prayer. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining us this morning for this morning prayer. It has been pleasure having your company with us. And I trust that the risen Lord Jesus will care for you and bless you in the days ahead. God bless and Amen.